please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you will never miss any video from Acure Life Science Foundation. Myself, Dr. Shantanu R. Joshi, a clinician, a pharmacologist and a drug researcher. Dear students, today we will discuss about basics of diabetes. What is diabetes? The diabetes is a metabolic disease affecting carbohydrate, fat and protein metabolism. It is a disease related to insulin. To understand it, you should understand what exactly happens when we eat food. When we eat food, any kind of food, after digestion, it converts into carbohydrates, means sugar. Fat means fatty acids and glycerol. And proteins means amino acids. After digestion, sugar, fatty acids and amino acids will rise in the blood. We will take one example of sugar and we will go forward. When the sugar level in the blood will rise, it will stimulate the beta cells of islets of langerhans of pancreas to secrete insulin. This insulin is very important because entry of the sugar inside the cell depends upon this insulin. The most common receptors used for the entry of sugar in the cell are called as GLUT receptors. Till date, total 14 types of GLUT receptors are identified out of which 1 to 5 are well studied. Out of these 5, GLUT4 receptor is a receptor of glucose which is most commonly used receptor of glucose. It works in coordination with insulin. How? When due to the rise in the sugar in the blood, insulin will get secreted by the pancreas. These insulin is going to bind on the cell. It will stimulate the cell. A series of events will take place in the cell. Ultimately, the last event is degranulation of the vesicle which is containing these GLUT4 receptors. Due to the degranulation of this vesicle and availability of GLUT receptors, the slowly the GLUT receptor will get recruited to the cell surface. When the GLUT receptors are now available on the cell surface, the sugar will enter the cell. And then metabolism and so many the sugar will enter the cell and it will get converted into glycogen will be stored or may be utilized for some cell, for cell functions. If insulin is not available then GLUT4 receptors will not be recruited. The sugar level in the blood will rise actually the sugar will not enter the cell when the sugar is not going to enter the cell the blood levels of the sugar will rise and as the blood sugar level will rise we will say that patient is having diabetes now what exactly happens in diabetes diabetes is mainly of two types type 1 diabetes also known as insulin dependent diabetes mellitus in this type 1 diabetes, 
there is death of cells of beta cells of Langerhans of pancreas and then hence either there is very less secretion of insulin by the pancreas or there is no secretion of insulin by the pancreas. Why there is death of these cells? We don't know the exact cause but we incriminate some autoimmune response or some unidentified viral infection may be incriminated for such death of the beta cells of Langerhans. Naturally when insulin will not be available, the entry of sugar will not take place, the blood sugar level will rise. In this case, the patient will have low levels of insulin and high levels of blood sugar level. Among the patients of total patients of diabetes, these patients of type 1 are generally are around 10%. Now, this is also known as juvenile diabetes. It is generally present since birth. It doesn't mean that it will recognize at birth, but it is present at birth, may be recognized with some diabetic complications. Now, type 2 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is the most common form of diabetes. With the experiments, it is now well established that not always there is insulin deficiency. But most of the times, there is insulin resistance. And this is a very important concept. Suppose one person is taking high caloric diet since a long time. Due to the high availability of the sugar, more insulin will be secreted. More glute receptors will be recruited. More sugar will enter the cell and sugar will have much more stores of the sugar, glycogen. Now in the same person, if he continues, continues to take high caloric diet, after some time, after some years, though after digestion the sugar level will rise, it will stimulate the pancreas to secrete insulin and the insulin is going to stimulate the cell to for the degranulation of GLUT. The cell will not respond for degranulation of GLUT receptors. Why? Because already cell is having much more stores of the sugar or the glycogen. Sugar now the cell now do not want any more sugar and that's why though insulin is trying to stimulate the cell, it will not get stimulated properly. Proper recruitment of the glute will not take place and the blood sugar will, the, the cell will not receive proper amount of the glucose or the sugar. This is how in this situation the level of the insulin in the blood will rise. It is trying to stimulate the cell but the cell is not well responding to it. And in this the level of insulin is high as well as the blood sugar level will also high. And that's why when in the morning hours that is the fasting sugar is high and fasting insulin levels are also high, we say that patient is suffering from type 2 diabetes. But when the sugar level is high but the insulin level is low, we say that the patient is suffering from type 1 diabetes. Dear students, if you want to go in detail of this diabetes, its pharmacotherapy, we had Acure Life Science Foundation conduct a two days reorientation program for diabetes. For the details of such program, please log on to www.oxfordmedicalacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to 
Acure Life Science Foundation. Thank you.